Dust in Weasels Over Syria, Mission 8, Recon. Got some cloud cover, can't get satellite images, so we're going to escort some tornadoes in to uh, do a little bit of recon. This is going to be for new users, new players for DCS, uh, new to campaigns, or new to DCS in general. I'll be walking you through step-by-step step all the things that I do, at least the best that I can. If I forget to explain something, let me know in the comments section below. Hey, how'd you do that? I'll get you an answer. Let's get started. Chinook over there. Alright, start the aircraft. Let's get a hold of the tower. Uh, backslash F10. And you can turn on Immortal here by pressing F1 or clicking it. Or press F2 to request engine start. We're going to hit F2. Hotel 4 ground, sort to 1, requesting engine start. Sort to 1, you are cleared to start engine. Alright. Got one harm and two Mavs. I do not follow proper procedures. We're just going to... Sort to 1, starting engine. Get her started up. That looks good. online. There we go. VHF, seven. Sort to two lead, comms check. Loud and clear. Two's ready, I'll follow you up. Copy two, see you up there, one out. All right. Let's go. Uh, dauber left, list. Select or call. Dauber right. And we'll get this thing set up here. Our Hemix. Alright. Use our RDR cursor. Switch. Our radar cursor switch. There we go, and then select and select again. Same thing, RDR cursor, left and right to get the roll lined up. Select, dauber left, and we're gonna go two, one for ground. And in case you don't know what the frequencies are or the presets, just pitch uh, right shift K, and then uh, left and right brackets to find the page you're looking for. Here we are. We're going to pin that. And the alignment is done. we got a flashing align here. We hit list and six. See it says ready and we're down to ten. So I set this to nav. And then we're going to go dauber left, hit time. And all it says is system. We have to wait until this says GPS system for time. And then we can turn on uh, mids back here. So DMS down, hold, and then let go, and that'll turn off the Himix. Down and hold for about, a, I think it's like just under a second. It'll come back on. Now we see GPS system, mids on, good to go. Let's contact tower, sorry, ground. Request taxi. Hotel 4 ground, sword 2 1, requesting clearance to taxi. Sword 2-1, you are cleared for taxi to runway. Let's go. Sword 2-1. While we're rolling out, I'm going to go to air to ground, and I'm going to turn on my Mavericks, because they take forever to warm up. Set up my pages here. That looks good.
All right. Com two two enter for the tower. Contact tower and request takeoff. Hotel four tower, sort two one requesting takeoff. Sort two one, you are cleared for takeoff on runway two eight. Wind 282 for 4 knots, altimeter 2975. Sort 21. Line her up. Alright, nose wheel steering off. We're going to push the throttle up. I'm just going to do full mill on this one. Tap the brakes to keep yourself as centered Sword as possible two one, rolling. until we have enough wind around the tail to control it with the rudder. I had someone say, you're not supposed to tap brakes. Well, it works for me. That's what I do. This isn't real life, so it's up to you. Works for me. Better than flipping the jet with nose wheel steering on. <laughs> I know you can probably just turn it on. I right, turn it off halfway down the runway, but all right. Wheels off the ground. Sort two one. Up. Wheels up. Keep ourselves on a two eight zero heading, and we're gonna have to trim this out. We're a little heavy on the left because of the Mavericks. So trim right wing down a little bit. All right, and we'll level off around here. This is good. All right, and then we're gonna go calm uh, two, and departure is three. And we're just gonna hit backslash over and over again until we see F10 as an option. There it is, F10, contact departure. Hotel 4 departure, sort 21 departing from runway 28. Sort 21, turn heading 010, climb flight level 150. Sort 2 Turn 010, zero zero zero, climb flight level 150, sort 21. Alright, 2 zero born. Zero 010 zero up to 15,000 feet. There's zero 01 right there. And there's waypoint one off into the distance and the, the little diamond there. Get ourselves on the right heading and then we'll just keep climbing. A little too far on the right wing, so I'm gonna trim that a little bit. And then we're gonna go attitude hold on the autopilot. All right, and I am hands off at this point. Looking good. Angels 15, where's 2? CL 2's doing. Uh, I don't see him yet, so turn the Hemix on and we're going to go DMS down. And then radar cursor down, TMS up. Get a PDLT on him, there he is. I can see him now. Alright. Going through the clouds, 12,000. Coming up on 13, hopefully. Two can catch up, I'm on full mill. He's, <laughs> I'm forcing my two to burn a lot of fuel here. I should probably slow down. I'm gonna lower the nose because we're getting a little slow. Continue on heading zero one zero. Yep, zero one zero. Coming up on fifteen. And there it is. Altitude hold. Stay at fifteen. Zero one zero. Have to go right a little bit here. Don't want AT 
CC mad at us. Where's two? There he is. All right. Just waiting on ATC to need departure to hand us off, let us go on our merry way here. VHF comms to sword flight, comm 2, 7, enter. Sword 2, 2, lead, we're clear, pushing on the flight plan. Sword 2, 2. Proceed on briefed flight plan. So if you want to see the flight plan, push uh, uh, right shift K and bracket right until you get to the flight plan. Here it is. So. We need to get to Angel 27 on the uniform. 27 for waypoint 2, so. 2 set. Sentinel. It's 2, so COM 1, 2, enter. And then press spacebar. And then we're going to hit the. Sentinel sword 2 1 airborne and on mission 1023. Request new words. Attitude hold on autopilot. Sword 2 1 Sentinel. All mission elements reporting they are good to go. Sword 1 and Sword 3 are also reporting mission success. Copy Sentinel. Sort two one out. Awesome. Two lead. Continue. Just watch your positioning as we push north. We're gonna be close to a few threat rings on the way up. Copy lead. Yep. A lot of activity near the border. Looks like we had Syrians in the air off to our west as we climbed out. Climbing up to Angels 27. Optional conversation available, so backslash F10 developments in the STO. Rotor, did you hear we've got more Vipers arriving in theater? Yeah, I heard. The guard unit, the uh, 179th, right? Yeah, that's right. They found room for them at Insulic. Nice. Damn, I thought Insulic was full. We're all the way down here in the middle of nowhere, sweating in the desert. And they get deployed straight into the luxury of Interlit. Well, I guess someone somewhere pulled some strings. Probably some senator or something. That's it. I'm joining the guard as soon as I can. Give me some of that high life. Are you not enjoying your tent anymore, Rotor? Oh man, for the first few weeks living in a tent in a desert is just great. But you know, I joined the Air Force to see different places and have new experiences. Done the whole desert tent thing now. Time for a change. Well, hospitality issues aside, at least we're boosting our numbers out here. About time, I think. Well, more help is always good, but they're not weasels, are they? No, unfortunately not. Still just the six of us. Plus, whatever half ass job the Navy does with its hornets, I still don't get why it's only our small detachment. Just the six of us for this job still feels light, especially with the current tempo. I mean, we're six weeks into servers north now. There should be more of us. Agreed, but there must be reasons. We've got squadrons deploying to the Pacific as things get more tense out there. Plus, we've got extra deployments on the eastern flank of NATO. 
Maybe things are stretched thin. Be nice if we got the rest of our squadron out here at least. Boss says that George can't accommodate any more aircraft or personnel at any of their bases. But there's room for the 179th guys at Enserwick? Man, this is screwed up. Get the weasel mission isn't a priority yet. Just remember, we're the supporting element here. The no-fly zones are the priority. Which they can't enforce without us. Rotor needs to stop anyway, flying. Anyway, have you noticed all the Jord armor and troops deploying to the border the last few days? Yeah, me and Ghost were talking about it this morning. Not heard anything from the intel brief. Something going down? Nothing official, but the boss said the Jords are worried about the SAA causing trouble in the south. They know by now we're being allowed to base down here, so they're flexing a little. Also got the SIA roaming around north of the border as well. Be nice to think there's an army between them and H4. Too right. Our rotors... Uh, stop whining. Sheesh. Man up. You're a weasel. Let's do this. Eh. I've done the whole tent thing. I didn't do it very long. I didn't do it for multiple weeks, but still. J-Bad wasn't that fun. I'm sitting there whining, sheesh. We got our green bean. <laughs> as long as we got our rippets, we're set. You take my rippets away, we got problems. All right, coming up on 27. We'll level out here and we'll flip the switch here, the autopilot switch, up to altitude hold. May have to correct a little bit there. Getting a little slow. Steer point two. We're gonna avoid Tyus, which we're doing. We're doing a good job here. We're gonna drop down to fifteen thousand. Steer point four and five. We're gonna be even lower. We're gonna go drop down underneath the. Uh, cloud layer and escort these tornadoes <clears throat> so at this point if you got the jet trimmed out and you're on an altitude hold and a steering select and uh, steer point is set to or the, the nav computer set to auto I'm hands off right now. I'm not touching the stick or throttle right now. Letting the jet fly me there. So you can use the pedal pack. Go get a snack. Have to come through the clouds here in a second. Turning northwest for waypoint three. Copy lead. Uh, got a glimpse of Metro Indigo through the clouds. Still burning. Really did a job on it. Again, still uh, hands off right now. And we're gonna switch to air to ground and take a look at everything here. So for my MFDs, uh, DMS right to control the right screen to flip through all the pages. Right, 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 and left, left, left. So DMS right and left to switch through all the pages I've got set. So we got the Mavs up and running. Let's go to our 88s, power those on, get them ready. In real life, I actually don't know if you're allowed to power both of them on, if the jet is able to have both powered at the same time, I don't know, but there's a sim and that's what I do. Get them both 
running, ready to go. So the rendezvous, I believe, is going to be steer point. Oh yeah, rendezvous. Yep. Uh, waypoint four. So we're gonna have some growler support on this mission, which is gonna be nice. Growler's gonna keep all the radars blind for us. And hopefully uh, we don't get fired on. As long as I can stay with them, shouldn't get fired on, but uh, we'll see. I mean, if it was just the, uh, the Hornets, easy. <laughs> But I know the tornadoes are pretty fast. Hornets always gotta fly real slow, stay with them. I have to contact, uh, oh, I think we're still on Sentinel. Yeah, we're still on Sentinel. Rider on the RWR up here now. Mm -hmm. A lot less search radars up. Copy that, Rotor. Let's get the loadout from vacuum. Switching on uniform. Our vacuum is three, I believe. Two set. Yep, there it is. So COM one, three, enter, and space bar. Vacuum, sort two one, request lowdown Sierra. Sort two one, vacuum, standby, lowdown Sierra. Low down to error. 1108 intermittently, portal 192 for 102, tight. Dougler awake, portal 185 to 63 loop. Copy vacuum. Offer knee seeing the 11 radiating. So, 2 1, we're seeing it pop up pretty randomly. Twice in the last hour, but only for a minute or so each time. Sounds like it has a cautious crew. And that position puts us in range of waypoint 8. Might want to consider being ready if it pops up as we pass through. Copy 2. Gives us the option of a preemptive shot. Vacuum, can you give us the approximate grid for the 11's location? Hey, Phil. Come back. Grid is north. 340.508. Elevation 4,300 feet. Copy that's north. 340.508. East, 03642, decimal 821, 4300 feet. Good read back. Okay, vacuum. Right. Thanks for the update. Sort two out. Switch to four here. I was not ready for that. All right, so, <laughs> steer point. Let's find a steer point that we don't have any data on. So, we're gonna so go it looks away. like the 11 is our main concern There's at the moment. 17. You thinking of putting a harm in the air to cover our ingress? Possibly. Gotta time it right, though. And if the 11 stays offline, right. I'll have wasted my harm. Good bet you know we're coming, though. No doubt that dog ears picked us up. Hope it doesn't come back to bite us. Well, that's why we're going in, 
and while we've got Grawler support, we can handle it. And 4,300 feet. Uh, we'll just double check that. 00508. 3642821 Good to go. And we'll just go back to steer point five. Uh, sorry, four. There we go. And down to steering select again. All right, looking good. Now we'll press space bar to remove the message at the top right. All right. Looking good. Waiting on the tornadoes. Oh, there they are. They just popped up. We got friendly at waypoint four. Must be our package. Let's check in. Switch uniform for green two. Right, we're gonna go to attitude hold and push Copy. nose down. I'm gonna get down to angels fifteen. Green two shift K. Right shift K. Green two is thirteen. So com one, one, three, enter. Two set. Space bar. Action two, sword two, approaching RV point. Sword two, action two, one. Good to have you with us. Ready to proceed? Yup. Let's do it. Glad to be here, action. We're good to go. Be advised, vacuum has indications of an SA-11 within range of our southernmost waypoint. If it comes online, we'll handle it. Copy, sword two. We'll give you a two minute warning as we approach that point. Just don't get left behind. Spartan 2, ready to push? Spartan 2. Action 2, pushing. Have to push down a little bit Spartan further. Spartan 2, music on. Let's get a PDLT on Sword those guys. Sword 2, pushing. Sword 2-2, two, two, fence in. Fence in, alright. Sword 2-2. Two, two. We're going to turn our lights off. Everything looks good there. We're going to go CMS aft. To turn on the uh, ECM. All this looks good. Let's go master arm on. And we are at 9,200 pounds. Escort action two on their flight pan. There they are. Yeah. I'm gonna take the autopilot off and we're just gonna follow them in. Look at those tornadoes. They're turning in on waypoint five. Altitude. And now we're going to get down below the cloud cover here. Angels nine. As you go a little faster, you got to trim it out a little bit. I know Angel's 9, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna l not level out, but lower my descent a little bit. These guys are right above me. There's the Growlers. Alright. Push up the throttle a bit. How we're going to do this is we are going to find things by using our our uh, HAD page with our, HS, uh, our uh, HTS pod and so DMS down to make this soy and then RDR cursor and we're going to select this SA8 and once we have PGM2 or better we're going to DMS left to get to the TGP and now the TGP is looking in that area. Now again, this is PGM-2, so we don't know exactly where that is. That's an approximate location. So now the TGP is looking in the area of where the SA is, but it doesn't mean it's going to be right there. And you can see how the TGP is moving around now. That's as the uh, HTS is getting uh, more uh, data on the location. All right, we're turning left here. This guy's getting low. Two. 
SA-8, south side of Hong. Yep. I think our flight path will bring us in range. The area is really hot. We should avoid. Copy two. Action two, recommend you offset two miles east and keep clear. Copy four two, we'll go. Sierra. See again, action 2-1 has gone down in Sierra. Copy, sir, 2-1. You have a shoot. Mm, I didn't see Unknown one. Unknown Sentinel. Action 2-2 two, two called it. 
Stand by short. I'm switching to green two. Alright, back to green two, so com one, thirteen. Oh, we're getting some. Action two two seven oh. You have a shoot. Ah. It looks like he's coming down somewhere close to the MSR southwest of Sadabi. Good grief. Taking fire. Evading. Alright, hang on. We still got this guy. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah. I'm blind. I'm blind. I've lost visual. Sentinel, Action T2 is going to set up in a holding pattern overhead and try and raise Action T1 on the radio. Copy Action, that evening launch as we speak, what do you need? We're pretty vulnerable here, some threats and radar guided AAA to the south. I need Spartan to hold as long as possible and soar to start clearing threats. Copy Action, Spartan 2, watch your play time. Hello, Spartan 2, we can give you 30 more minutes. Copy, Spartan. So, if you are clear to engage any air defense targets or further action. Yeah, I'm trying. Eight. Copy, Sentinel. Okay, Sword 2 2, let's get to work. Anchor at waypoint 8, your cover. Copy, lead. The uh, SA 11 south of waypoint 8 needs You're to go. Close. It's just too close to the search area. We've got the KS 19 battery to deal with as well, also south of waypoint 8. Seria, sort two defending. Shack. Okay, lead. Back in is offline. Check. That reduces the triple A threat. Set on sort two. Immediate threats are handled. SA eleven and triple A are offline. Altitude. Pull up. Copy sort two one hold position and await further instructions. Altitude. Uh, way too close. Altitude. Sort two one Wilco. Alright, hold waypoint 8, wait further instructions. I'm gonna get away from that 
<laughs> Get closer to the growlers. Gotta stay close to the growlers. Per the briefing, I got a little target fixated there. Trim this out a little bit. Gonna stay near the growlers. Ah! There it is. Yeah, that little town, man. New contact, buddy. South of Waypoint 8. Stand by. I'm searching. Yep. Nope, that's the other one. It's over here. Okay, lead. Looks like we have a column of Syrian armor rolling up from the south. Uh, tally on Gecko at the north end of the column. Armor looks like it's holding position. They're on a secondary road, just east of the Amazon. Copy two. Stand by. Lead. Second SA-8 online. Wait one. There it is. I see it. I see it. Okay. Second gecko is around one mile south of the column. Further along the same road is the convoy. Copy oh. two. Sentinel did you copy sort two two. Hey, firmly sort two one. That column is gonna be a threat to the rescue mission. We'll have our incoming access system back. But first we'll need you to suppress the data benefits. Four packages and my like Sort two one, different copy sentinel. Sort two is engaging. Okay, rotor. The two SA-8s need to go. Let's keep them out of arm's distance and pick them off. Make sure you keep as close to Spartan as possible. Copy. No! No! <laughs> that was way too close for comfort. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Let's have uh, Rotor take care of one of them. We'll have him do the north. Uh, yeah. North. Sort 2-2, two, two, engage the northern SA-8. Copy. Two engaging. And I'll take the south. Looks like there's a third one out there. Stay near the growlers here and let's see if I can't find this thing. Let's widen that out. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. 
Southern SA-8 is offline. Contact Sentinel on green 2, 13, we're already there, press spacebar when ready. Sentinel, sword 2-1, both SA-8s destroyed. Yeah, we got another Contact one out there. Contact Sentinel, sword 2-1, support is inbound now. They will release you on station. You are clear to depart. Oh. Copy Sentinel, sword sure? 2 departing. Uh, Altitude. Looks like there's another 8 right there. Egress the area, alright. Right, they're coming. No, I've about had enough of you, huh? Sword 2-2 two, two, check comms for Sentinel uniform and sword on Victor. Let's keep the mission free clear. Copy, two switching. Alright, Sentinel. Uh, two set. Space bar. Come on, Rotor. We're pushing for home. Good chance we'll be coming back out to support later. Copy, Forrest. Back on you. Syrian fighters between us and home. Please advise. I mean, I got two sticks and Stand by, so two. two heaters, I guess. Copy Sentinel, <laughs> standing by. Right there. But at least there's a lot of support overhead. 
and it'll be dark soon enough. Yeah, if you can keep hitting until dark, you might have a chance of moving overnight to safer ground. To somewhere it's a bit safer to get a hero in. But if not, well, I guess we might know what our next mission will be. Yep. That sucks. This is going to be quite a divert all the way up to Insulik. Let's see, I've got, oh, I got 5,000. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm going to climb all the way up to Angels 30, another thousand feet or so, and then I'll uh, level out. Figure that's a good cruise altitude. Well, we're gonna switch over. Well, turn those off because I don't have any more. And uh, I'll turn it off. I'm gonna do CMS right to turn my ECM to standby. We should be good on fuel. Not too worried. All right, coming up on Angels 30. And do an altitude hold on the uh, autopilot. All right. So I'm going to stay at 30, just in case.
closer here. Contact with our escort here. I don't know why we need an escort. I don't need an escort. I got two longs, two shorts. I'm sure. Uh, let's see. What does two got? Two. Let me turn on smoothing here. Uh, looks like he's got the same. Goodness. I don't know what happened there. Contact Sentinel. Press spacebar when ready. Yep, we're on Sentinel Sort 2-1 approaching RV Point Aleppo. Please advise. Sort 2-1, Sentinel, your escort is Devil 1-1, frequency 260 on uniform. Copy, Sentinel. Devil 1-1 on 260. Alright, Sentinel, so one, okay, two, two, Sentinel, six, two, six, zero, 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 on uniform. Zero. Copy. Devil 1-1, one, one, press spacebar when ready. Devil 1-1, one, one, Sort 2-1. Turn off now. Devil 1-1 receiving. Devil 1, understand you're going to be our escort into Interlick? Copy that, Sword 2-1. I'll bring you in. My tech end is 18 X-ray. I'm at Angels 20 over Aleppo. Let me know once you have me and I'll guide you in. Oh. Copy, Devil 1. Stand by. I don't think I'll need tech end. I bet you that's him right there. But we can throw it on there. So for TACAN, uh, press ILS and then dauber down to get down here to the channel. And it switches to 18, enter. And that's 18 X-ray. If you want to change it to Yankee, press 0, enter. I'll change it to Yankee. We're going to go to X-ray, 18 X-ray. Oops. But I'm not seeing him until I go to Yankee, then I can see him. I don't know. Anyway, then you can go down here and you can see where it's pointing directly ahead. He is 2.4 miles away. So that's about right. That's him right there. So we're going to drop because we are way too high. And there he is. Depot 1 1, sort 2 is ready. Okay, Sword 2, keep close. The airspace gets real busy up here. There's a lot of procedures we need to follow coming into and out of both Turkey and Interlake. We're going to proceed northwest from Aleppo at Angels 20, Mach 75 through what's called the Gold Corridor. This is our authorized transit route back to Turkish airspace. I'll handle all the comms with Interlake Rapcon. Nice. Interlake Tech is 21 X-ray. Recommend you lock me up on radar or use data link to get my position. We'll be in the weather soon. Copy, heading northwest at Angels 20. Alright, 21 X-ray, so we're going to switch that to 21, 2, 1. Or actually, uh, let's switch to X-ray and then 2, 1. There it is. I lost track of him. Let's go back. And... 
Devil One is DMSA 232. And the Marines got an answer like ahead of us. Oh, jeez. Is there a problem, Sword Two? Apparently. No problem, Devil One. Just my wingman here moaning about his accommodations again. Uh, whiny. I think he's fed up with life in the desert. Okay, Sword Two. Well, things here in Insulik are pretty sweet. You've got all the facilities you can want, and Adana is a great place to visit. You ever been out here? Nope. First time for both of us. Well, I'm pretty sure it beats whatever you've got down at H4. If you get the chance, I'll make sure our Marines show you around. Appreciate it, Devil One. But I get the impression we'll be on a quick turnaround. You're probably right, Sword 2. Sounds like things went south down there. Yeah, they did. And a column of Syrian armor just placed itself in the middle of the search area. Things are going to be tough on the ground tonight. How long since you deployed Interlick? We've been here just over two weeks. Feels like forever though. We've already done a lot in that short space of time. I know the feeling. Alright, let's slow down. Stay close to Devil. Where's two? Ah. Uh. Ah, he's back there. He's coming. I'll just stay right here. Marine air wing here. Uh, trim this out. For some reason, I'm my my right wing is uh, a little heavier. <laughs> Just cruise here with Devil One One. Can't go too fast. You gotta, you gotta keep it easy on these uh, bugs. They, look at those. You got two tiny itty bitty little engines you can fit inside a bread van. Adorable. Oh man, it was so funny. We had a. Uh, we had a Marine Air Wing that landed at Luke, and uh, I don't remember why they were there, but they parked on the ramp right behind my squadron, right next to our jets, and they were, uh, I, it must have been a divert, because they were working on those birds, there's like two or three of them, they were working on them all night, pulling, pulling all the motors, and I don't know what happened, but a bunch of Marines showed up. Uh, later that night and started working on them. And uh, they, <laughs> they, pulled, they pulled those little engines out. I just remember just being in awe of how tiny they were. And we were, I was up on top of the wing and my supervisor was there. We were working on something, I don't remember. I was on swings and we, <laughs> me and a few other guys, we were, we were razzing on them. They were, it was pretty funny, it was back and forth, they were talking crap about the Air Force, and we were like, we were like, calling back about how adorable their engines were, and... <laughs> the city ahead of us, on the coast, is Iskenderun. It was originally founded by Alexander the Great. One of his great battles was fought in the region below us. This area is full of history. Which battle was that? Battle of Isis. Cool, you know your history. 
one of the pilots in the squadron. He likes to educate us every chance he gets. to each other at Chow Hall. They were like, we gotta take advantage of this every time we come to an Air Force base, gotta go to the Chow Hall. <laughs> Defects are nice. Now, I remember there was another time up at uh, Eielson Air Base. Got a bunch of Marines come up there for the first red flag up there. And <laughs> sitting in line there, he just couldn't believe that you could have them make you a sandwich at the defect. It was like Subway, you just walk up, tell them what you want, and they'd make you a sandwich. He's like, they make you sandwiches? He's like, I should have gone blue. I started laughing. It was... Marine air wing guys are awesome. I got a buddy of mine, he worked on the Sea Stallion. We were talking about stuff. So he was a... I believe he was a plane captain, but on the Sea Stallion. It's great because we all go through the same things as crew chiefs. Same stuff, same, same BS. <laughs> it's all the same. Okay, Sword 2, we're clear of the Gold Corridor. We've been cleared into instruments via the 331 Corridor. Descending to Angels 15 and coming left. Oh! Copy. Angels 1-5. Little warning. Would have been nice. I'm gonna climb up because I don't know if he's gonna hit me. There he is. Sheesh. Once her feet dry, I'll turn us onto heading 331. Start to descend for Point Eagle. <laughs> Which is 10 miles from Interlick on the 230 radio. I'll rejoin here. Sheesh. I doing on fuel? Oh yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing good. Shouldn't have any trouble catching up here. Looks like we're getting close to the other side here. Let's see the. See the beach. Descending a little bit. About to go into a cloud. So I'm going to keep my distance. I don't want to get too close. Uh, if I lose them and hit them.
feet dry, coming right for approach 331. Hey. Heading to 3,000 feet ATL at Point Eagle. There's a Put warning. radio for tower on 128.2. Victor for 128.2, sort 21. 128.2. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's fine. I need to switch to 128.2. Alright. I lost him in the clouds, I didn't want to hit him. machine. A lot of skipping. I gotta see if they've got something running. Maybe some sort of service is running or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright. off and just try and stay right here keeping our slow descent once at point eagle I'll break right and into the pattern sword 22 stay with me sword 21 you'll break right on heading 050 contact the tower and land is directed Our descent. Okay, Sword 2 1, go ahead and contact the tower. I'll see you on the ground. Devil 1, out. Alright, went through his jet wash there. Alright, 050. Altitude. Altitude. Look at that, set me up for a perfect final. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, space bar. It's like Slow Tower Sword 2 1 requesting landing. Out. Those boards Sword out. two one, please for immediate landing on runway zero five. Wind two eight two for four knots. Altimeter two nine zero seven five. Runway zero five, sort two one. Two nine seven five. All right. So we're gonna get ourselves down below three hundred knots, and then we can drop the gear. Don't want to overspeed the gear. That sucks. Good speed, let's drop the gear now. We have a little bit of a little bit of a balloon there when the flaps go down. And I don't remember what it was. What was it? It was a uh, red and white, you're alright, or something like that. White on white. You'll fly all night, red on red, you're dead. I think that's what it, how it went. Let me know in the comments section below if that's incorrect, but I thought that's what it was. <laughs> Keeping ourselves on a good glide here. I'm getting a little red on that third one. Climb up a little bit. 
Yeah, I got three red now. Ah, I'm fine. strike and holder keep the boards out and the stabs as far up as you can so just keep the stick all the way back and I'm waiting for the tower to tell us where to go here and get off on uh, Delta am I getting off on Delta what's going on let go of the stick. Two, two, one, left at the end of runway zero five and turn left. A follow car will guide you to parking. Follow car? Left at the end of zero five and follow to parking, sort two one. Oh man. Is there a follow me truck? <laughs> Alright, board's in. Now we're gonna go to EOR here. Hey! Alright. Good deal. You may exit when ready. Well, I like to taxi back, so we're gonna, we're gonna finish this whole thing here. Turn on the taxi light. And, oh! Security forces, eh? Alright. We're gonna follow security forces. Gonna take me over there by the C-17. Oh, these guys are just parked here at EOR. Yeah, there's no pilot in there. I just parked them. Oh, we're not going over. Okay. Let's follow. I'm just gonna keep my distance, just in case he just stops suddenly. Not sure where we're headed. Oh, uh, I don't know why Tower couldn't just, like, take Delta, and uh, I forget which taxiway this is. Give me the, uh, the directions, I'll just taxi there. Oh, we're going in here. Let's see. Turn, turn, turn. Well, now we're in for it. That's, I don't know if there's another turn. Okay. I mean, I guess we could park with the tankers. It's just a divert, after all. We can put us wherever divert divert goes. here. Oh, what is a taxi? The speed of a brisk walk? <laughs> or a jog or something like that? right here. There's a spot right there we can go. Uh, it's probably a heavy spot though. Waiting on the tinker to come back. Yeah.
Yeah. Man, we better we better not be going all the way up to <laughs> zero five EOR. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> oh, that uh, looks like we might be. Well, you could have told me that tower. Just get off on Delta, and I'd have to look at the map, find out what this is. Take this all the way up. To Charlie. And I just follow the cop. Follow the cops all the way to the parking. Nah, no, it's probably not a cop. I don't, in real life. Cops wouldn't be doing this. This would be somebody else. I just like to mess with security forces. Taxi back to Charlie. There gum. Duluth, huh? over here. It looks like everybody's got their own uh, shelter. We put parking out here, huh? No, I figured we'd be at uh, the uh, C-17 ramp or over by the tower ramp. Oh. Did we get a shelter? Nope. Nope. No, nope, we don't. Slowing down. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, uh, where is he going to take me? Just right there? Alright. <laughs> eh, where's this going to be? Rearm refuel, get the heck out of here. No shelters. For us Philistines here, anyway. Alright. Let's park it right here. Alright. Alright, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, for those of you who may be stuck on this one. Um, it's a lot of fun. I like this one. This is good. I still, my personal opinion, I still believe that uh, Mission 4 is definitely my favorite so far. But... This was a good one, too. Alright, see you guys in the next one.